Liberty football beginning spring practice on Tuesday. Here to tell us more about that and the offseason conditioning is head coach Turner Gill. And coach, since uh, signing day about a month or so ago, how have things been going here around uh, football? Well, it's always busy. I know people think offseason and uh, you don't have a football game that you're not doing a whole lot, but uh, we're always doing a whole lot of things. We're always trying to get better in, in every facet of our program and obviously trying to get to know our players even better. We're trying to get to understand um, the recruiting process is always ongoing. And then trying to implement some certain things we want to improve on for the next season as far as football related. A lot of people continue to ask me about the success you guys had last year, another Big South championship, trip to the playoffs. What residual effects are you still seeing from that run last year? Well, a lot of people talking about us uh, across the country uh, as we have been out on the road recruiting there in uh, January and February. And even as we make phone calls and all those type of things, people recognize we had a great year. And I think the uh, two games probably defined it there as uh, beating Coastal, number one team in the country. Uh, so that got publicity and uh, beating James Madison uh, at their place in the playoff game. So I think those two games there uh, definitely put us on the map a little bit more relevant. I guess it's probably say everybody's kind of somewhat heard about Liberty, but uh, now we're more relevant. Players took some time off after the end of the season, but then you got back to winter conditioning, some coaches stations as well. Uh, what do the kids enjoy about that as far as competing uh, against each other? Well, the key word there is compete. Uh, that's what we're trying to find out, who are the guys that can compete when they're tired, uh, just like in the fourth quarter. So uh, we call our coaches stations, uh, it's always the fourth quarter, and uh, we do a little bit of different things there. We got that eight stations, seven stations, just depends on the total number of players we have in the program in the spring. But uh, we kind of start out with a competition. I kind of think of it as four quarters. So right at the beginning of the first uh, uh, of the beginning, we end up having our guys have a competition, whether we end up having um, carrying weights, uh, tug of war, uh, we have them do a um, wrestling match. Uh, there's all different types of things that can come into play with that. And then we have them do anywhere from two and a half to three minutes uh, per station. Uh, they do a four of those. Then right uh, before we call it halftime, we kind of have another competition. And we call it here is the last two minutes of the, sec of the first half. And then you get ready to go. And then we have a halftime for four minutes. And then we come out and say, OK, the first series of the third quarter, we have another competition. Uh, and then we go to four more stations. Then at the last, we got, hey, the last two minutes of a football game, we have another competition that goes on. And so it, uh, competing when you're tired, uh, encouraging each other, uh, and so knowing can you start something, can you finish at the same level, doing the drills right and doing it consistently. If they don't, well, we start it over, and sometimes we may be there all day and all night to a certain extent. But, uh, uh, again, they do a very good job in, in pulling together as a, uh, as a team. All right, looking ahead to spring ball here, you have your dry race board. You've got some questions you want to see answered. You have 15 workouts. What are some of those uh, one or two questions at the top of your list? Well, I think I go in phases maybe offensively. I think we need to find uh, two centers. We want to find two guys that can play center there as far as that goes. we got some guys we're going to do some things of that nature. And then I think the other thing is tight end on, on the offensive side of the ball. Is, uh, again, then always leaders. Uh, we're always trying to, to find, continue to have leaders. And, again, not just saying captains as leaders. We're just talking about leaders on the offensive side of the ball, having guys respond to them when they talk. Defensively, I think the other thing is just trying to find too deep, uh, really a lot of positions. Uh, I think that's always at every position you're trying to find too deep. But if I had to say one thing, it would be obviously trying to replace the safety there. Uh, Jacob Hagan, great player that we had here as far as that goes. And then I think also trying to get four linebackers uh, on a steady uh, pace of things. And then trying to, um, if I want to say master our five – Five man pressures on the defensive side of the ball and trying to see what can we do with bringing five man. Every now and then we'll do six, but trying to create some things and just bringing the five man pressures. Do you really look at signing day or the start of spring ball as kind of the, the beginning of the new season coming up here in the fall? Well, this is the beginning of a new season. I mean, it actually started, I guess, the first workout that we had uh, in the off-season program. It was more strength training. Uh, we did some running, but it was more trying to get people stronger and, and making sure that they get healed up. So those are two things when you come out in January and February, just getting guys healed up and then continue to get them strong. And then now we're in that phase. Now we get more into the X's and O's and getting on the football field and, and seeing their talent and their skills and how they can work well together, 11-on-11, 11 11, running our offense and running our defense. Good stuff, Coach. We appreciate it. And I can't wait for spring ball to start up here this week. Me too. Let's go. Go Flames. 15 practices beginning on Tuesday. Some of the practices open to the public. You can log on to LibertyFlames.com for the entire spring schedule. For Head Coach Turner Gill, I'm Alan York for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.